If you're gonna stay from start to finish on any one of my videos, please let it be this one. I've got some really fun stuff planned around the biggest derby in the world. This weekend, it's Rangers versus Celtic, and I've got a video format today for you. Something a little bit different, but I've not really done before. It just has to be absolutely grim, doesn't it? Typical, but um, yeah, we are currently two days away from what feels like the biggest derby this city's seen for a long time. I know that it always seems massive, but just the way the league is right now, as you can see the top two there, they are teetering and this derby is really gonna I think decide the title whoever wins it could potentially go on and win the league so it is huge and what am I doing that's so different and so unique in this video well I'm gonna try and find somewhere to watch it within Glasgow but before I do I've got some challenges to complete I have to visit somewhere historically significant for both clubs that isn't their stadiums I have to buy something for a Celtic fan I need to buy something for a Rangers fan as well I also need to visit a street within Glasgow named after a player from each squad so I've got to complete these six challenges before the game kicks off in a couple of days time. I'm going to see if I can do them today on the Friday. I've got a game tomorrow, Saturday. I'm hopefully seeing Stenny win the league in League Two. And then because it's such an early kickoff on the Sunday, as it always is, unfortunately, um, I don't have really much time to do it on the Sunday. So I'm going to try and tick off as much as I can today. But oh, it's so grim out there. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you aren't already. Is this where Celtic were formed? Yes. Is that right? Whereabouts? Was it in this? In this church, yeah. In this actual building here? Yeah. Wow, right. That's uh, Brother Walford. And as you come in the front door there, there's a mosaic on the floor. Yeah. And if you read it from... If you read it from uh, right to left, if you go, if you read it from that way all the way yeah. around, it'll tell you what it's thing there. Oh yeah, I didn't even see this on the way in. Look at that. The founding of the Celtic Football Club in this parish of St. Mary's Calton to the greater glory of God and in honour of our blessed mother commemorating the founding of Celtic Football Club. There can't be too many churches around the world that have the founder of a football club so prominently placed. And yeah, the gentleman on the way in was saying that his brother Walfred there. Look at this picture, I've never seen this before. But look at this, some of the souls. Maybe, I know he set up Celtic to help feed the poor Irish Catholic population of Glasgow, or populations of Glasgow in the late 1800s. And maybe this is all them, look. All the people he was trying to help, who are hungry. Look at some of their faces and then, he looks pretty sad himself, but. He's more lit up. I've been outside of this church before, but I've never been in. And uh, yeah, really fascinating to go inside the place where Celtic were formed. And Glasgow is a city like no other when it comes to football, particularly when it comes to Celtic and Rangers. I don't think there is a city that has so many different sites, just the two football clubs. Welcome to Glasgow Green Football Centre. Now you'll have to believe me, but there is a plaque inside there. I have actually seen it before on the Rangers Founders Trail. Brothers Moses McNeil and Peter McNeil formed Rangers Football Club with Peter Campbell and William McBeath in 1872. And they played some of their earliest games here at Glasgow Green at Flesher's Hall, which is through there, I think, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, but yeah, what is now a modern football centre with multiple AstroTurf pitches. I like that it's still a football pitch and centre to this day um, because times have changed a lot obviously since the late 1800s and they could easily have developed this into something else but Glasgow Green remains and this is where uh, Rangers played some of their earliest football. I think their first ever game was played here against Calendar. Although they were formed in Kelvin Grove Park was that where the idea was formed for the club I think this is where they actually played their first football match so we've been to and it's only a four or five minute drive away from where Celtic were formed even though now the two clubs are complete opposite ends of the city very divided geographically in those early stages Celtic were formed 
three or four minutes down there, and Rangers played their first football here. Hey, well, I'm at Lark Coast, that's all. Uh, oh, okay, right, so yeah. You, you, you just, you there, so you're from Lark Coast, you support Rangers, uh, Rangers there. Yeah, I take it. Okay. I support Lark Coast, that's all. Um, I'm more worried about us trying to get an back to back promotion, get us back to where we should be. For Lark Coast? Uh, yeah. What league are they in now? West of Scotland Division? Yes, uh, so they were in Division 2, but we're hoping to get back up to 1. I mean, normally we'd be a Premier League team, but we yeah. fell away so badly. I went to see Royal Albert this season, they're like. Did the, you? They used to be a Lark Coast team, they're Stonehouse. Yes, they're Stonehouse. Yeah. yeah. But do you know where Royal Albert's great fame? Claim to famous. Didn't they score the first penalty or something? Is that right? There you go. They what? Scored the first penalty kicking world of football. Shout out to the charity here. We're just having a great chat with them all. Stopped off for a coffee and just was chatting to the people in there. Um, really nice guys. One of them was a Rangers fan. Offered to buy him his coffee and his cake. He said no, but hopefully we're going to buy someone something at some point. Look at this. The weather is so grim. It's time to find some Celtic and Rangers related street names and I doubt there's going to be a Kyogo Crescent or a Tavernier Terrace anywhere but fingers crossed we'll find something fun. I could have gone for something like King Street, Leon King, I think that was a little bit too easy. So we'll see who we can find, should be around here somewhere where I'm going. Here we go, welcome to Tom Lawrence Street. Right, there's no parking on this road, so we've got to get to the next one, a Celtic related one. If he's back from injury in time, going up against Tom Lawrence in midfield against Rangers for Celtic will be Callum McGregor and welcome to McGregor Street. Stuart, Stuart and what are you thinking for Sunday? It's yeah. huge, isn't it? Rangers will win, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been impressed then by Philippe Clement up against oh, Rodgers? Because I, I feel like beforehand no. with Beal, I think Rodgers had no, the edge, no, but no. you think that's switched now because of the manager? Uh, he's, no. ca he's came in, he's, he's like impact to the players. Rangers kind of need to win this game. If they draw, it's probably yeah. better for Celtic. <laughs> I've just bought 30 quid's worth of stuff. There was a family from Peterhead who were down, checking out the stadium. I was hoping to see them again as I was running out, but they're nowhere to be seen, so hopefully I can give this to somebody. Have you ever seen my videos on oh, YouTube? I watched before? the video, I actually, yeah, gen I actually genuinely yeah. watched the videos. I'm all doing the a giveaway I'm to... Saying, is that that boy with the, you go. the videos? This is for you, mate. What's that? It's just a little giveaway of stuff, just giving some stuff away to Rangers fans. What, what, what's in that? Head of the old firm, just some little bits from the museum in there. Big and cash. cash. And you're cash. from Whitburn, what, what, mate, but you're I here just checking out the shop in the stadium today. the shop, I just, I just get some bits and bobs here. And so it's two days till the derby. How big is it? Massive, eh? Knee win. This one especially with how tight it is. 100%. What do you think? Knee win, eh? Yeah. Yeah, What's the score going to be? What do you reckon? What's the score going to be? 4-1 hey. Rangers. 4-1 he's saying? I think 3-1 Rangers. Are you as confident? And what do you reckon? 3-1. And we're back. I was hoping that it'd be a little bit busier here now that the rain stopped a bit. It's a little bit later in the afternoon. But... Are you Celtic fans? Yes. Um, here's a goodie bag for your lad. All I oh. want is a score prediction for the game on Sunday. Celtic v Rangers, what do you think the score's going to be? Um, I think 2-1 Celtic. 2-1 Celtic, what do you reckon? We'll go 1-0. 1-0, tight, both of you saying tight, but there you go, mate, that's for you. Thank you so much. What do you say? Appreciate it. Thank you. No, thank you, thanks guys, see you later, all the best. There we go, all six challenges completed. I can now introduce you to Tom Lawrence Street. Tom Lawrence Street, thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank
which we got to go inside today, so it was great to see. And then uh, Flesher's Hall, I think it is, where Rangers played their first game over at Glasgow Green, the football centre. Couldn't get in there today, but we've been in there before. And um, yeah, the, the two street names um, of the players, I've never sort of done anything like that before, um, but just interesting to just to link something of Glasgow back to the football clubs and then giving back to some of the fans as well. I owe so much to um, the fan bases of Celtic and Rangers for both taking to me. Good morning and welcome to Glasgow on the day that a city stops to watch. 22 men kick a ball around for an hour and a half. It's fairly peaceful here right now. Derby day here, isn't it? Yeah. The day that the city stops and everybody watches the game. Yeah, yeah. What does it mean to you then, the old firm? Uh, it means a lot. Yeah. It brings people together. What are you thinking for today? McGregor might or might not be playing? I think he'll be playing. You reckon you've got to play him in the big games? Aye. What do you reckon the score will be then, mate? 2-1. Shout out to one of your uh, mates. Uh, Christopher McGregor, the Celtic fan. Uh, I don't suppose you go anywhere near the stadiums, do you? You want to avoid them today? Uh, yeah, we don't currently on this route anyway, but yeah, we've yeah. got a new route starting in May. Do you have to do a different off. route on Derby Day like this, or is it? No, no I, you're I right? don't think we can cross over any sort of particular okay. pockets yeah, of yeah, crowds yeah, or enough. anything. Right. Obviously, under certain circumstances, for example, if it was the day one team won the, the league. league. Yeah, because <laughs> it's usually. It could be here, here it, right? or it yeah. could be Salt Market, or it could be around like the bridges. Ah, over so to, that's like, the Ibrox only way the football and that stuff. Okay, yeah. But generally, yeah, it's it's it's, it's not a biggie. Um, Are you a Celtic or Rangers fan yourself, or stay clear? Wouldn't care to say. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Aberdeen, obviously. Aberdeen, yeah, yeah, true, true. That is the people make Glasgow sign. I always see it from like so far away, driving past the motorway and stuff. Never really seen it this close before. Here are the lineups. No McGregor for Celtic. Iwata starts. And no proper left back for Rangers either. They're changing the screens. There's a bit of cricket going on. But I think the uh, the old firm's going on up there. Wow, the scenes in the stadium do look absolutely unreal, to be fair. A bit of FOMO as well. You were saying about Maida earlier being a bit of a danger man against Tap. VAR call. What do you reckon? Half time came and I fired up my laptop to do some editing. I think the people around me thought it was a bit weird, but needs must. Oh, Silver's getting booked. Booked for diving. Well, VAR left for that, do you reckon? You thought that was a pen straight away, didn't you? VAR are looking. There were, was there contact? We saw from the celebrations in the first half, there's a few Celtic fans around us. Will any Rangers fans are out? If Tav scores that is. Turned it around. Wow, the roar from downstairs. 
so that went in. This table's quiet now. It is mad watching it in a mixed venue like this. What a game this would be. Dessa's goal could be getting ruled out here. Is that a goal? He's given the foul. And now this table is celebrating again. Old firm day in Glasgow. <laughs> After the Dessa's disallowed goal, it did feel like Celtic just saw that as a bit of a red flag and grew back into the game a little bit. But then Seema came off the bench and scored for Rangers. Yes, the substitute pulled it back and this one wasn't going to be disallowed and the pub just erupted. The amount of Rangers fans upstairs and downstairs as well, just every corner, they absolutely went wild and they showed the replay and all the rangers fans were nodding and really happy within a minute head in hands and the celtic table were back up again adam eda on loan table split look at that another geezer head in hands there while his mates clapping away oh my god absolutely crazy scenes kind of mad watching it in this pub the amount of people that were just like buzzing, some were buzzing, some were devo, and it was up and down. Emotions, a roller coaster. Look what it means to these people, and then. Surely it's done after that. Oh, no, it isn't. I thought that would be it. But Matondo. That insane passage of play just there. With the two goals back to back. You think it's over, and then Matondo. What a goal. What a derby this has been. From a neutral standpoint, this has got to be like the best game of football. I think for Scottish football. Yeah. Dessers, in the last minute, he's almost made it 4 3. Sean, you've been watching the game in the pub here, I take it? Yeah. Are you, do you live in Glasgow? I live in Dublin. But you've come over specifically just for the old firm? Even yeah. though you didn't have tickets, obviously there's no... Unfortunately, there's no way allocation, so yeah. uh, we have to make that so what we can. So what's it like for you coming from Ireland to come and watch the derby here? Just being in Glasgow for the game, is uh, it a good atmosphere for you? It's a great atmosphere. Like, when it comes to Celtic, they're nearly more patriotic than the clubs back home. Um, but I brought two of the boys here for the first ever time. It's just... And what did you think of the game? Does it feel like a couple of points dropped considering where you were early in the match? Early in the match, we were 2 up. Two goals, that one was from penalty, one was 20 seconds in. That can happen to anybody. Um, but realistically, when it comes to this game, it can go anyway. When it got down to the end, Adam Ida was really expecting that. Oh yeah, how's he doing for it. Ireland? Is he a good player? Uh, so far, it's between him and Ferguson. Yeah, Ferguson okay. Ferguson hasn't really been performing recently. Yeah, he burst onto the scene, didn't he? But he's not quite... I think it may have got to him to a right. certain degree. Uh, got to his head a little a bit. Lot more hyper in than it probably should have been. But. And then so for the rest of the season now, there'll be another derby at Celtic. Yeah. Who do you think's favourites now? Because if Rangers win their game in hand, they'll go top. But like I say, there's another game still to play at your place. In a, I'll try to be as non-biased as possible, yeah. but it all does come down to it. There is no way allegation. It's Rangers will be performing again. It's 60,000 Celtic fans. It's a very difficult atmosphere to play, like it was for Celtic today, how it works. So, um, no, I think it, it will come down to being 50-50. There is still a few games to go, but it depends how they go as well. Kevin, what did you think of that? My heart's in my mouth, mate, but see, see, I'd take it before the game, but when you go 2-0 up, you just need to do whatever you can do to, to get the result. Do you but, think your favourites to win the league? Considering I, you've still got to play at Celtic as well. I, I think my favourites... Um, you know, it was a funny game. It is, yeah. I thought we should have won the day, but... You've had some weird results, both of you this season, Rangers and Celtic, but that's meant for a good title race, I guess. 
Well, that's what it is, isn't it? But I yeah. still think we've got the best squad. I still think we're the best team in the league. Some of the best atmospheres I've ever seen have been at Old Firm games. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please click on one of the two here on screen right now. Honestly, Celtic and Rangers fans, I can't thank you enough for all the support that I get. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. Something a little bit different around what has been one of the most fascinating Old Firms, one of the best Glasgow derbies that I can remember for a long time. So yeah, please do click on one of these videos to carry on watching and to see the atmosphere on one of these incredible days. Thank you very much.